Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called Allo Allo, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. Allo Allo is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We'll tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they've changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Gordon Kay was born on April 7th, 1941 in Huddersfield, West Riding of Yorkshire, England. He played the character René Artois in the series when he was 41 years old in 1982. Sadly, on January 23rd, 2017, Kay died from dementia in a care home in Knaresborough, England, at the age of 75. You stupid woman! There is only one thing I could possibly be doing with my arms around Yvette. I am teaching her self-defense. <laughs> Those Germans in there, they get... They're very laid back, though. It's like being about 30 years ago, like England was 30 years ago. And uh, they're very docile. Somebody once said that... Carmen Silvera was born on June 2nd, 1922, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She played the character Edith Artois in the series when she was 60 years old in 1982. Sadly, on August 3rd, 2002, Silvera died of lung cancer at the Denville Hall Retirement Home in Denville Hall, Northwood, London, England, at the age of 80. He did this last week. Uh, uh. Venny, uh. the piano has gone wrong again. <coughs> Fix it while I serve the customer's drink. Oh, it is the mice. Two, Two syllables. syllables. The whole thing. Operatic. Guy Siner was born on October 16, 1947, in New York City. He played the character Lieutenant Hubert Grubber in the series when he was 35 years old in 1982. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 75. <laughs> really, it was very lonely on the Russian front. <laughs> hundreds of autographs uh, in a couple of hours I've been here and it's super cool. I can't believe there are so many wonderful... Kim Hartman was born on January 11th, 1952 in Hammersmith, London, England. She played the character Private Helga Gearhart in the series when she was 30 years old in 1982. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 71. The light stocking is also crooked. <laughs> yes, Henry. Attend to it. are <laughs> still on today. Well, no, I think originally we were just hoping maybe we'd get one or two series out of it, so... Richard Marner was born as Alexander Pavlovich Molkanov on March 27, 1921 in Petrograd, Russian SFSR. He played this character, Colonel Kurt von Strom, in the series when he was 61 years old in 1982. On March 18, 2004, Marner died from natural causes in Perth, Scotland, at the age of 82. Because if you don't, I will have you shot for the butter, the sugar, the paraffin, and the gasoline. I will be glad when this war is over. Hilary Minster was born on March 21st, 1944, in Surrey, England. He played the character General Eric von Klinkerhofen in the series when he was 40 years old in 1984. Sadly, on November 24th, 1999, Minster died of cancer in Kensington, in Chelsea, London, England, at the age of 55. Release him. I do not agree. I think he should be executed as an example. <laughs> uh, don't you think that's... Vicky Michelle was born on December 14th, 1950 in Chigwell, Essex, England. She played the character Yvette Carte Blanche in the series when she was 32 years old in 1982. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 72. Then, uh, you will marry me after the war is over? while the bells of victory are still sounding. <laughs> oh, Rene, you have a small 
beauty products that are going to make me look younger, cakes. It's been, it's been a really great experience, just looking at new products. Is there any in particular that caught your eye? Gavin Richards was born on July 3rd, 1946 in Tufnell Park, London, England. He played the character Captain Alberto Bertarelli in the series when he was 41 years old in 1987. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 77. Captain Bertarelli, officers in the German army do not kiss the lady privates. <laughs> Sue Hodge was born on June 4, 1957, in Orsett, Essex. She played the character Mimi LeBanc in the series when she was 30 years old in 1987. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 66. Do you know, we have not even kissed yet. Well, it is very difficult, Mimi, with Yvette in there, my wife out there, me up here, you down there. <laughs> because we had the best of everything didn't we on that because yeah. we had the fantastic writers and this crazy cast where all these components somehow Kirsten Cook was born on October 4th 1952 in Cuckfield Sussex England UK she played the character Michelle Dubois in the series when she was 30 years old in 1982 currently she's living happily at the age of 70 with a patron just like you they took him and his wife out into the town square and shot them in cold blood. I shall never forget the look on his face. Kenneth Connor was born on June 6, 1918 in Highbury, London, England. He played the character Monsieur Alphonse in the series when he was 66 years old in 1984. Sadly, on November 28, 1993, Connor died from the effects of cancer at his home in Harrow in Middlesex at the age of 75. The bronze handles, they last longer. <laughs> Why should this be an advantage? We're not pulling him up again. <laughs> Horace Strong, should I not? Yes. After that, that was your, the, the name of your character in that. Yes, it was. The high, hypochondriac, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Yes, Jack Haig was born on January 5th, 1913 in Streatham, London, England. He played the character Roger Leclerc in the series when he was 69 years old in 1982. Sadly, on July 4, 1989, Haig died of stomach cancer in Hampstead, London, England at the age of 76. <laughs> After all these years, oh, where have you been? <laughs> Rose Hill was born on June 5, 1914, in London, England. She played the character Madame Fanny in the series when she was 68 years old in 1982. On December 22, 2003, Hill died from natural causes in Northwood, London, England at the age of 89. It has brought us together. <laughs> oh, remember when we were young? <laughs> Sam Kelly was born on December 19, 1943, in Salford, Lancashire, England. He played the character Captain Hans Gearing in the series when he was 39 years old in 1982. Sadly, on June 14, 2014, Kelly died from cancer in Escher, Surrey, England, at the age of 70. <laughs> Richard Gibson was born on January 1st, 1954 in Kampala, Uganda Protectorate. He played the character Herr Otto Flick in the series when he was 28 years old in 1982. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 69. Attention that in the Fontenac collection is the fallen Madonna by Van Klump. <laughs> the Fiala would like this for his collection. But I have... <laughs> Um, yeah, so it was always, no one was sure, but I think the fact that they're making fun of John Lewis Mansi was born as John Patrick Adams on November 8, 1926 in London, United Kingdom. He played the character Herr Ingbert von Smallhausen in the series when he was 59 years old in 1985. Sadly, on August 6, 2010, Mansi died from lung cancer in Berwick, East Sussex, United Kingdom, at the age of 83. Helga Gierhardt. Hi, Anne. 
Catholic orders that you also attend. Please, come with me. Arthur Bostrom was born on January 6, 1955 in Rugby, Warwickshire, England. He played the character Officer Crabtree in the series when he was 30 years old in 1985. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 68. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's just a master of the fast. So it's set in uh, the Westminster Hotel, which is sort of put next to the House of Commons and all that. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of the Allo Allo TV series, I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.